All right, Capricorn, here we go. April 2024. New energy, new reading. And basically, just in for these monthly readings, I've been doing a pyramid reading for you guys, and that's what I'm sticking to. Top row is how the energy is attached to you, feel about you. Middle is what they're thinking about you, and the bottom of the pyramid here. Uh, which I can pull up the three cards on is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. I will clarify whatever needs clarifying. All right, here we go. In the bottom of the deck that I'm shuffling for now will be the soulmate energies around you. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. Could be future influence for you. Keep that in mind. And it could just be one thing I say. It doesn't have to be everything. It's timeless. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. All right, universe, give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Capricorn for April 2024. Here we go. Soulmate energies around you. Eight of Cups, fueled by the King of Swords, the Great Horned Owl. Somebody here is taking a brave move. You've got an energy coming towards you with something to say. Something, someone that walked away for sure. Someone who once saw you as eight broken cups. It's a mess that they made. And I think they want to clean it up. Maybe. Maybe. I'm saying maybe on that. Because I know, because that's the king of swords, my great horned owl, that they look in the mirror from the overview reading and see themselves as a little page, a little barn owl. Mm. We'll see. Readings up here. Let's see how they feel. King of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Wheel of Fortune. I was just about to say it before I threw that. As soon as that hit the deck, as soon as that hit the table, I knew, let me pour it on there. I knew somebody's opinion of you has changed. Somebody now sees your value. You're the eight point buck with rainbow antlers. That's how they feel about you. One of a kind, can't be replaced. I always say popcorn, be uh, Capricorn better than popcorn. I'll tell you, definitely. Wheel of Fortune proves it. It's red with that, right? Um, feelings that they were afraid to let themselves feel, drawn around the moon energy here in the base, uh, are now coming out, all right? They're now getting lit up a little bit. They're not afraid to feel them. And when they do, boy, do you shine bright. Let me tell you, wow. Let's pull on that King of Pentacles. And as I say that, I said shine bright. I did not know this. At the bottom of the light seer is the sun, which is the deck we're going to use to clarify. That means something. Yeah, it's, I did not know that was there. Shines bright. I could feel it. That's like if I look at all the cards on the table, you can even see that's the brightest one. Mm. Um, yeah, they've been afraid to allow themselves to feel. And now they're allowing themselves to feel whoever this is. Okay, now this doesn't have to be your runner. It might be. You might be here for a specific individual but this could be someone around you that's holding on the feelings you know they present as a friend but they want more possibly this can also be a family member I don't know I don't know maybe you've got a mom who never said I love you and all of a sudden they all lovey-dovey I don't know but either way you're shining bright here whoever it is to you all right why is the king of Pentacles here tell me more about this shining king of Pentacles look at that See that card? The moon? It's crossing there. They've been afraid to admit this. Okay? There's a lot of love here. That's my queen of cups. The most love I could pull from the deck. Underwater. Redhead. Right? They've been afraid to allow themselves to feel it. I'm right. The environmental energy here is things that have been under the surface are coming to the surface. I see the bubbles blowing out right there. What's going on on top? Ten of cups. Man, you make this person happy. That's how they feel. Happy, happy, happy. They're actually not just feeling you in April. They're allowing themselves to dream about possibilities. You're one of a kind. You're Capricorn. Better than Papa Corn. I'll tell you, I won't go to a movie theater that don't serve Capricorn. What's going on with the Ten of uh, Cups? Why is it here? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're dreaming about what could be. That's in their feelings. All of it. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the Wheel of Fortune. It's my indicator. Okay. I'm going to pull on the moon. What have they been, because the moon came out twice. What have they been afraid to express? Why were they afraid to feel this? Let's ask that. Let's see what we get. Tell me about the moon. Why were they afraid to allow themselves to feel these things? 
about my Capricorn people or whoever. You know, it doesn't matter what your sign is, but it's a Capricorn reading. So we'll call you Capricorn people. Although we might have some other signs here, and I hope we do. That's how you should treat my readings, because I'm not your fucking astrologer, and this ain't your fucking horoscope. Why were they afraid to express these? Hmm? Why? Why? Wow. Victory is surrounding them. Okay, so that's verification. That's the environmental energy around the moon. It means somebody now feels, well, look at the girl on the card. Ha! <sighs> free. They feel free and, and, and it, the feelings are flowing. Well, what's on top? Why is the moon here? Yeah, that's why they weren't. There, there's our answer. The environmental energy is just telling me, verifying my read that the moon is flowing. They're not afraid, right? Not afraid. I'm going to say how I feel. I'm going to go outside with my little mini skirt on, male or female. Um, why is the moon here? Queen of, of Wands. It's a uh, uh, fakey McFakerman. It's superficial. It's someone who tried to just brush it off as nothing. It's someone who possibly sees you as the real deal. And they were afraid to allow themselves to feel anything because you show them that they're not, that they're fake, that they're phony. Right? That's all. It's pretty cut and dry. Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Knight of Cups. They, held, they pushed back all these feelings. They pushed them back for reasons I just explained. Right there, the Knight of Cups. Man, this person has wanted... Every time this person wanted to tell you how they feel, they shut it down out of fear because you're the real deal. You are. Now in this energy, they see you as the eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. I mean, it's that simple. What happened now? What happens when all these feelings that are now flowing and dreamy get to their brain? The Magician. Wow. Um, it's that energy of the magician that I hate saying. I, I despise readers that even say this because it's so tacky. They got all the tools they need, right? They feel like they can do it. Magicians, to go out on stage, you got to perform the trick with confidence. Whether you're a magician or a musician, it doesn't matter. You need to go out there and without any doubt in your mind and perform the trick or perform the song. Otherwise, you'll just fuck it up. They feel like they can do it. What else is here? Ace of Wands. A lot of passion. A lot of passion. A lot of happiness. A lot of fire in the belly. There's a fire in the belly here to come tell you how they feel. Make these dreams a reality. This is real. This is hazy, dreamy energy. Wow. Okay. What's the potential final outcome? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. No, no. Wait. Wait. I need to clarify the magician. Alright. Hold on there, Steve. Okay. Alright. Slow down. Mom, I'm not going to watch this guy anymore. He almost didn't clarify the magician. I know. I know. I don't blame you. Just shut it off now. I'm a loser. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, here we go. The magician. The universe wants to talk about this magician. It would not let me pull the potential final outcome until it got a chance to tell us more about the magician. Okay. Alright. Fine. It's crossed by the Queen of Swords. This is a uh, sword in the sheath, benevolent, cards on the table, full truth energy that's coming in with a lot of passion. Okay? It, that's just the way it comes out. That's the environmental energy. Uh, it's, it's, with, it's without a doubt. Alright? It's something they've thought about. They're thinking See, she's thinking about all these feelings. But primarily, because this is a queen, they're thinking about what I said here. About why they were afraid. They're actually thinking about why they were afraid to express how they feel. What's well, on top? That's important because these cards are read with our final outcome. Potential. I can't predict free will. You know. But Eight of Swords. Wow. Um, mm. Somebody feels, ah, I've been using the word haunted too much. I don't want to use it. Haunted. Somebody feels haunted by this. It's this, it, it's like they feel mm, trapped in a way. I, how do I phrase it? It's not fear. They're not afraid, but they feel like they have to do this. They feel like they have to or they'll never escape it. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. What they're mostly trapped is a student, right? What what they're mostly trapped by is what this 
these queen energies are showing them. The real truth, really thinking about who they've been and why they've been that way. They've learned a lesson here. They've learned that when you, the, the one thing I teach you guys, well, I teach you guys a lot of things, but the, one of the things I teach you guys is to always tell people how you feel. Emotion, water needs to flow or it becomes toxic, right? You don't drink the still water. You drink from flowing water. Same thing here. The lesson they learned is when you don't tell people, when you suppress real feelings, you, you get in this. You get, you feel trapped. You're trapped in your own life, a prisoner, in a prison of your own making. Okay. All right. A lot of passion here. Potential final outcome, red with these. Six of swords. It's communication. It's not fast. It's not somebody rolling in fast, but somebody wants to smooth things out. Somebody wants to make things better. Somebody wants to go from choppy water to calm water. I mean, how else you want me to phrase it? I can pull up to two more cards here. I will. Knight of Wands. Three of Cups. This is weird because what I get here it, in the Zodiac fly through, in the soulmate cycle right now on the DM side, is, is typically a lot of selfishness. Uh, it comes up a lot where somebody's coming in, let, let's say somebody's coming in to say something or wants to say how they feel, but they're doing it to make themselves feel better. This person here has an urgency. I feel the passion here and I feel the passion here with the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. They're tied together. I feel that. There's an urgency to say something, to come in, ride in on the trusty steed, right? But they slow themselves down a little bit because they're not just concerned about their own feelings. They're concerned about your feelings and the fe maybe for some of them, the feelings of somebody else who's attached to them. So if they're married or in a relationship, they're considering that. That's the only thing slowing down the communication. But there's a lot of there's a lot of emotion here, and th this is my biggest card of communication in the Minor Arcana, bigger than the Eight of Wands. Now I can't predict free will, but the energy is definitely right, for sure, for somebody to tell you how they feel. They are seeing you in a new light, for sure, no doubt. Like I said, let's go back to the main deck. Let's pull on you. Give me three cards and a and a crossing card from the bottom of the deck about my viewers. What do you want to tell my viewers, universe? Give me three cards and a crossing card from the bottom of the deck. What do you want to tell my, okay, okay, my viewers, okay. Yeah, the love of geese, the lovers, the ten of pentacles, the five of cups, and there's a, where, where is page of pentacles? Page of pentacles right there. Page of pentacles and crossing the ten of pentacles in the uh, base energy. Something happened here. When someone looked honestly with that Queen of Swords, looking at that Queen of Wands behavior, someone, an energy attached to you learned something. I will say that. You, however, I'm going to say this person may come in and talk to you, but the universe is thinking there's another soulmate that's out there that's en route. Okay? I think... Your reaction to this conversation is this, and I'm going to clarify this, Five of Cups. This is your, your energy. I'm pulling on you. You're going to learn something here that may be, you, for example, you may have, want, just an example, you may have wanted this energy to finally admit how they feel. But when they do, you may learn or figure out that it's not quite your Ten of Pentacles. They're not on your path anymore. It's sort of like, thank you for telling me it's good to know, sort of a thing. And it, it might leave you in a Five of Cups type energy, the sad horse here. Don't let it. When, when people, sh you know, sometimes, it, it, hey, it is what it is. Knowledge is power, right? There is another soulmate here. There's another energy that's coming towards you, okay? I will tell you, this is a soulmate for sure. I'm going to pull on, the, I'm going to grab the witches, okay? I'm going to grab an, uh, a third deck here. And I'm going to pull because randomly at the bottom, I did not know, is a Knight of Wands. You have another Knight of Wands approaching, another energy approaching. That proves what I just said. It's another Knight of Wands. Why is the Five of Cups here? Tell me more about the Five of Cups and the lover's energy will come with it because they're tied together. Okay? Tell me about the Five of Cups. It's okay. They may not, you know, it's like, thanks for telling me. I'm glad you have these feelings. It, it makes me feel good to know it. But they may not be, you may learn something here. You may learn something about yourself through this. And maybe learn more about what you want through learning what you, realizing maybe what you don't want anymore. Okay? It's possible. 
But let's, you got another energy coming towards you that's a very powerful soulmate. Very powerful. This month, April, very, very conducive, the energy to soul recognitions. New soulmates crossing your path, no doubt. From the darndest places, just happenstance, pure happenstance, right? What's going on? Why is the Five of Cups here? Okay, tell me about it. Yeah. One energy disappoints. Okay, you might be disappointed. You're like, I wanted to hear this from this person. And now, uh, why do I feel this way? Why do I have the sad horse for it? It's just a possibility. I'm just reading the energy. You could feel however you want. But if, if this energy shows up for you, and you do feel this way, disappointed by it. It's because you're picking up on this other energy. That's why. It feels different to you. Soul connections, whether you've had soul recognition with them or not, are connected. You're eternally connected. The energy flow is there, whether you know the person or not. They influence your life. Soulmates you haven't met yet actually influence your your decisions, your choices, your life, your growth more than you know. The universe will sometimes send you on a dark night of the soul, some inner work, without you even realizing why. You'll just see something. Maybe you'll watch a movie or something, and it'll trigger something, and you'll start a journey, a whole new journey, and you don't, you won't find out why. You know, you're like, why did that happen? Why did I go on this journey? You won't find out maybe until months or a couple of years down the road. You know, it's just prepping you, sort of a thing. What's on top? The fool, yeah. Everything, I just talked about a journey. That, that's right there. You have another, there's another path for you, for some of you. You could choose to go with this person if you want to. It's not going to stop this energy. But if you feel disappointed, it's because of this other energy coming towards you. There's another path. That's why the Five of Cups is here. That's why you're feeling it. That's why you're like, oh, I have to, have to say no, you know sort of a thing. This doesn't feel right. But it's because of this energy. Why is the fool here? The sun. It's actually, it's rather ironic, but it's because you feel the happiness attached to this energy, which is attached to the real Ten of Pentacles, your actual path, that you feel this. Because it's almost like you almost, because you have a lot of empathy, and I know all of you do, you feel bad that somebody worked up the nerve to tell you how they feel, and you're not more excited about it. You feel bad about that. That's not your problem, okay? If this energy had acted quicker or whatever, it, it's, it's everything happens for a reason, all right? So if you feel that way, it's because you're picking up on another soulmate coming in. The universe is sending you on a new journey for a reason. It could be a preparatory journey, a, a prep, right? That's all. I mean, that's, that's what I got. That's your reading. And there's your proof right there of that other Knight of Wands. It's a very, very good energy, real deal, Ten of Pentacles. Okay? Now, I'm not saying this can't be. Some of you, I'm just reading energy, the same frequency can play out a thousand different ways for a thousand different people. Some of you will learn that this is your energy, that this is your person. Okay? And you won't get in the Five of Cups energy. Right? It'll stop there at the lovers for some of you. If you feel disappointed, then you're one of the people that I'm talking about here. Okay? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right, should be a hell of a month. A lot of magic, a lot of change. We've jumped timelines. All right, a lot of a lot of things different. Read my write up in the blog on April 2024, and definitely watch the overview reading. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Good luck.